the iPhone 10 or is it the iPhone X? I still don't know. Is without a doubt the nicest iPhone Apple's ever made. It's gorgeous. Glass on the front and the back. It's got the dual camera system, a stainless steel frame, minimal branding, an edge to edge OLED display. This thing is nice. It checks a lot of boxes for what makes a premium smartphone, but I don't think it's worth the premium price. I've been using this Space Gray 256 gigabyte model as my daily driver for two months, and here's where the phone falls short for me. The first thing is the notch. I am still dumbfounded that Apple made this design choice, but here we are in 2018 and my phone basically has horns. It's not that bad, and I've definitely gotten used to it, but I'd rather not have it than have it, you know what I mean? Other manufacturers have made edge-to-edge -edge screens without cutouts, but I digress. The second thing is the persistent swipe indicator. It follows you everywhere you go in the OS, reminding you that no, 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 there's no home button, but you gotta swipeity swipe to get rid of apps. And there's no option to turn it off, which would just be too easy. And number three, the meat and potatoes of this video the lack of Touch ID. You see, Face ID works, and it works really well, in most conditions. If it has a clear visual of your face, it totally functions the way it should. But in the sub-freezing temperatures that we currently have in New York City, going outside pretty much requires you to cover your face, meaning Face ID will 100% fail. But look at what happens when Face ID fails. You've got to wait a ridiculous amount of time for the keypad to show up, and there's no other way around it. And whatever happened to slide to unlock, that brings up the keypad, it easily solves the problem. But what happens on the iPhone 10 is this, Face ID scans, and then it has to fail, and then the keypad shows up. There's no way to swipe to immediately reveal the passcode. This entire process takes way too long, especially when you compare it with Apple's near perfectly functioning other mechanism of unlocking iPhones prior to the 10. Really, Touch ID is just as fast, if not faster than Face ID, because Face ID requires you to bring the phone all the way up to your face, whereas Touch ID can be done while you're still raising the phone. Apple introduced Touch ID way back in 2013, and it has been great. It's frustrating that they took it away and gave us something that, in my opinion, is inferior to Touch ID. And knowing Apple, I don't think Touch ID is ever coming back but I sure hope it does. And it would be nice if Apple enabled an easier way to reveal the passcode on the iPhone 10. But until then, I will be wasting a couple precious seconds every day until it gets warm outside, waiting for that passcode to show up. Thank you for watching.